Hello, dear viewer, and welcome to this showcase and review of Battle Legion Mass Battler on iOS with me, Jelena. So, this game is basically like an idol clash royale in a way, if that makes sense. Basically, you can unlock treasure chests over time, you can spend gems to make that faster, we can get free rewards every day by watching ads. You can also collect these things over time. We've got our army. You have to collect unit shards to upgrade your army. So right now we could spend unit shards to recruit a new archer. That would be 50 coins. Or we could save our shards and upgrade. Right now I need 15 shards to upgrade my level 4 archers. So I am trying to work on that. Uh, another thing to note is once you reach level 4, you can add these little power stones and things. Mind you, I would recommend... <laughs> that you uh, probably do a defensive unit to level 4 first if you can, since they give you a free defensive power stone. They forced me to put that on something I really didn't care for defense on. Ah, oh, my bomb trap. That's right. <laughs> this thing is designed to explode immediately and die, so you don't really care about defense on it. But uh, yeah, yeah, we've got that. Anyway, we're going to turn on the auto spin feature. Right now I've got my assassins in the back, they teleport to the other side. We got our bomb trap in the front. You should take out, yeah, one whole unit. Sometimes you can get two like that. Oh, this guy's got the catapult. But we actually survived it this time. We're high enough level, we can survive one shot. Oh, and we moved out of the way. Ho, ho, ho. Yeah, that thing wrecked me before I'd leveled up before. But yeah, so far so good. I think I've got a 69% win rate at the moment. Oh, we can claim rewards. Let's do that. Uh, what do I get? Six of these new guys. Okay. What do I want? Plague throwers. How oh, wonderful. Oh, all right, then. So we will continue. It'll keep auto-spinning. That's what uh, that rightmost barrel was for. So we blew up the log, so that was... Not the most efficient use of stuff. We've got our Brute doing an AoE attack. That's pretty helpful against these kind of more melee units. Our archers are going to get taken down. Our assassin's already gone. And our wall's just sitting there. So what is nice about this game, in my opinion, is it does feel like there is always a counter for everybody, right? Okay, now I have a 65% win rate if I'm judging that sword icon underneath my name correctly. It used to be so much higher. <laughs> I think I've reached the point where people know what they're doing in general. Look at my assassin stabbing that wall. Oh my goodness. Okay, assassins. Oh! They got a couple good hits in. Yeah, okay. That's why the brute's nice. It kind of stuns people when it shoots them into the air. Okay. We're leveling up again, maybe? No? Hmm. Okay, we unlocked the next treasure chest, which is why it stopped the auto spin, I'm assuming. And get some experience points there. Now, one thing I've noticed is it doesn't seem like the bounty hunt works. I've had this brute out most of my battles, and it has never done anything for that event. So I'm not sure what's going on there. I mean, we've got our units and everything. And, uh, also, I'm not wasting money on upgrading this thing. It's a hundred gold to upgrade this. I'd rather not. Hmm. And based on last combat, I've kept this here to prevent assassins from stabbing our archers. But now I'm thinking that might not be worth it. So we've got one pip of army points left. As you can see, some units cost one, like these warhounds. I've used them over here in the past, and they've been pretty decent. Assassins start stealthed, so I like keeping the Warhounds kind of right behind our archers so they slow down enough to hopefully help them with that. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Mm -hmm. I could move my shield guys a little bit more forward. Same with our brute guy. I'm going to try to squeak them up a little bit. I don't like it when they get blown up by the bomb trap, so that's why I have them so far back right now. I used to keep them pretty far forward, and that worked very well initially. So we could recruit... You know what? We're going to recruit these guys. Okay. They have 12... Or sorry, 10 melee attack. When I upgrade them, they have 12. They don't have much health. They have a lot of ranged attack. No. But there's only one of them at the moment. Upgrading it would give me two. Interesting. Okay. Well, 
they might be good when I have more army points. As you rank up, you get more army points, and so on and so forth. You also get access to more units, which is why I think this is similar to Clash Royale. Let's see, he's got a bomb too. Okay, yep. And see, now I've got more shield bearers because they didn't get caught in that explosion. And they're very good against archers. And he's got one thorn guard. But our brute, if he survived the assassins, which he did, should be fine. Yep, because he'll just keep. Yeah, stunning. Wow, that was very close, though. But yes. So you can just kind of have this game play in the background and keep auto spinning. And it'll keep going until you hit some milestone or unlock something and things you might want to take a look at. Our bombs just blew each other up. Oh, the plague thrower. He had them. But our assassins took care of that. Assassins are probably the, I would say, best unit. At least they're my favorite. <laughs> There's a reason people have to counter them so hard. All right. The Warhounds, I would say, are the most liable to not working well. Just because, like, the Brute can just annihilate them in one strike. Take out the entire unit with one hit and keep going. So, that's why I have my Warhounds towards the back. Because sometimes, once there's just enough stragglers around, they can kind of help. Yeah, that's the theory anyway. And archers are just generally good, as long as you protect them. If you don't protect them, dead they are. Uh, okay, this is probably not going to go super well, but we took out their warhounds. And then ours are coming up. But yeah, they help take out the shield bearers, but not by a lot. Uh, placement is very important, as you have noticed, I am sure. The, the combat is fast. It works very well. You get into new attacks very quickly. New rounds of combat, I should say. Oh, their assassins just destroyed our archers. <laughs> That's what I wanted to do. But instead, our guys came around and started helping us against the melee. <laughs> so we're probably going to die to the archers. Yeah, and those are hammer throwers, which have a little bit better attack power, I think, in melee than archers. Oh, we actually had the victory. Brute! Truly one of the better units as well, in my opinion. Which is why everyone has one. They give it to you for free, which is nice. Ooh, we get an army point. A new unit available. Wagon rank up. Okay. So we reached rank five. So we get a new little background for our nameplate if we want to use it. Man, they keep giving me freezing traps I don't want to use. Hmm. Unit shards, archers. Ooh, mine shrooms. What do you do? Okay, and then we have some drummer boy, a paladin dude. Okay. Or drummer girl. I'm not sure. It's a ponytail. Could be either way. Pops when in contact with the enemy unit. Taking control of its mind. Oh, okay. You know what? <laughs> I think we do this. Uh, I want to protect my archers, so we'll put these here. I can upgrade them. So we can increase the amount of them. But that also changes their placement. Huh. Well, that's interesting. We're going to try it, though. I've got the money right now. Um, could I try the hammer throwers? Oh, they push back in the units. That's interesting. The freeze mage is interesting. The frost wizard, I should say. The thorn guards are also interesting, but usually you can just blow them up with the bombs. So, I've thought about keeping them in the back against the assassins, but they cost so much and they move so slowly that I'm sure archers would just destroy them. So, I think we're going to go back to our warhounds. Or our freezy boy. Yeah, I'm going to try this. They keep giving me shards for this, so it must be good, right? Ugh. Is that 3.5 tiles? Does that increase the radius? It does increase the radius. So the yellow line is the radius of effect. And the white line is just, I guess, where they can step on it. Okay, well, we'll try it. We'll try it. And then I'll collect all this stuff. And there's the auto-spin tokens. Oh, wait. We've also got one of these out of the command. Do I want to change my nameplate? Why can't I change my nameplate? Ah, it must be under looks, right? Yes, there we go. 
So yeah, we can change that. <laughs> and this. And we can add a title. Commander General. I just liked it like that though. It seemed to take up less space on the screen. So we're doing that. Okay. It didn't blow up our freezing trap. Yeah, and we did control the assassin. One of them. Nice. Oh, mind shrooms. You're so good. We do work. And our little assassin is trying to help. Beautiful. So freezing trap was worthless there. As far as I could tell. So, you know what? I'm going to switch it after this combat. Thorn guards. We're going to take out the bomb. Oh, uh, they have two clowny assassins. You can change the cosmetics for all your units, which is pretty fun. And then, oh, the freezing trap did kill the assassin. Okay. Maybe it's more worthwhile than I gave it credit for. Maybe. But I think having just better melee attackers with the hammer throwers in the back might be worthwhile. We're going to turn off the auto spin. We lost some trophies, but that's fine. Okay, we're going to click that. And then we can do the hammer throwers. Mind shrooms are so good. Okay. Um, hmm. Can I upgrade my archers appreciably? I could get some more archers. We have the warhounds, which are decent. They're also level two. You know what? We'll try these guys. Why not? We can upgrade them appreciably as well. Uh, so I think we'll start them out kind of right by the mine shrooms, maybe? We'll try this first, and we can click exit to quickly get out of there if we wish. All right, now we'll have to try a couple combats and see how this works. I think our bombs are just gonna, oh, nope, I am wrong. I was like, oh, they'll just destroy each other, but <laughs> they barely missed. Uh, and so far so good, wow, okay melted hmm. but yeah I do like this formation of kind of shield bearers in front of the brute protects them a lot and then he can get more AOEs off uh, the mind shrooms did not work but our hammer throwers did yeah they're much better against the assassins okay so mind shrooms do we want those out front then hmm They've been hilarious when they can get the assassins. Let's let's try a little bit more science. See what's gonna work. Oh, he's got a lot of hammer throws. They do push units back, but that's about it. Oh, he didn't land on the mind shroom. But that's really good against assassins, so. You know what? Hmm. I think what we might do is after this. We'll turn off the auto spin. Oh, there's a cat. So, <laughs> they missed the bomb. Oh, dear. Uh, yeah. I think what we'll do, get rid of the mine shrooms for another unit of hammer throwers. And this is where the unit shards become important. Because we could kind of mess around with our composition a lot. So I think we'll recruit another one. Uh, we can level you up when we have the money. We don't have the money. So we'll level this guy up. Let's get rid of the mine shrooms. As much fun as they are. In fact, I might put them out front in the future, but for now, we do this. So I think, yeah, this should help us. Huh, why does the unit have a slightly different formation? That's interesting. Yeah, we could do skins and change stuff. I currently like how things look right now, but uh, we could change our rangers back to this. And then, didn't I have a skin? Ah, yes. I like the hoplites a lot, but we can change these guys to ghouls. Just because. For aesthetics and science. Okay. <laughs> oh, yes. So that's why I put my bomb so far out front compared to everybody else. Even though it does potentially die to like a freezing trap or something. So far, those just seem far less effective. Okay, yeah, and our hammer throwers have been pretty nice. Okay. Yeah, I'm liking this unit composition. Alright, Battle Legion. 
Ooh, more rewards. Okay, then. That's a lot of mind shrooms. Hmm. They really like giving you the stuff that, uh... Oh, wait. Are those? Yeah. That's a lot of mind shrooms. They like the stuff that just doesn't move to give you for free. <laughs> Which, I, you know, it's fair. They can do what they want. I got that guy's name. King the Immortal. I want to say that's a Marvel villain. Sounds like one anyway. Oh, that trebuchet though. Thank goodness our assassins got it. But wow. If they hadn't, we might have died. I really want more assassin shards. That's the unit I think could help us even more. But oh well. We'll play a couple more rounds, I think. Wait, is my win percentage up to 90% now? In this type of thing? Ooh. Those warhounds were tearing through our dudes, but our hammer throwers, they got some work done. The thorn guards have a uh, reflective shield of damage. Uh oh, we need to. Oh, we can't move the brute. He's immune to it. Okay, but we win. Yeah. Hammer throwers. Underrated. In my mind, until now. Now they're overrated. They solve all my problems. Oh, and there's a freezing trap. Okay, and it still worked. Yes, the bomb is the bomb. Enough said. Yeah. There we go. All right. So, dear viewer, hopefully you've enjoyed this showcase and review of Battle Legion. What parents should know about it is, once again, there are ads that, you know, you can't really control what the ads show. Uh, there are in-app payments possible. They do sometimes have offers pop up. Not too often. They've been pretty good about it, in my opinion. Uh, another thing to note is when people die, they turn into bones, and sometimes there's blood and stuff like that. So I think the rating of ages 12 plus is appropriate. Um, you know, it's very cartoony violence, but it's still skulls and stuff popping out of, you know, people. Which is quite violent. So, yeah. Okay, and our bombs just took each other out. We'll have to see whose composition is better here. Hmm. Looks like he is stronger... question mark? We haven't taken out his assassins, which have really done a number on us. I can't push the brute back, so we're gonna lose. Yep. Well, alright. That was pretty close, but... Alright, dear viewer. Leave a like if you've enjoyed the showcase and review of Battle Legion. Subscribe to see more iOS gaming videos. Comment below on what your favorite builds would be. What do you think is a good strategy for Battle Legion? And I hope you have a great day. Like these assassins getting to the back lines, just wrecking everything. Assassins are so good. If only I had more of them. Maybe that's what I should do with my next unit shards, is get more assassins. But they cost two pips. So, you know, we can't just spam assassins. Or can we? Mm. Interesting idea. <laughs> Have a great day.